So, are we going to talk about it? Yep, we are. Some people think that using metaphors to explain consent makes things a lot easier. But actually, we know that it's making things a lot harder. In reality, consent's not that difficult to understand. So why don't we move this to one side and have a real conversation? A lot of people talk about consent as if it's this really complicated thing. Oh no, way to ruin the moment. We're going to have to sign contracts to have sex now. It's a bureaucratic nightmare. In reality, consent is actually super simple. In fact, we give consent to things every day and we know how to ask for it too. Consent and sex is no different. So if you're confused, just ask. And if you're not hearing an enthusiastic yes, then it's a no. Consent is an ongoing conversation, not a box that you tick at the start of the night and then anything goes. Unlike the conversation itself, it can be ended or withdrawn at any time. No explanation required. You're allowed to change your mind whenever you want, no matter how far into a sexual act you may be, how many times you've done it with your sexual partner in the past, or how much you may have been enjoying yourself just moments prior. Respect matters. And respect is at the core of consent. Talk to the people you're having sex with. Ask them what they like. Ask them what they want. And listen to the answers they give you. It's really not that hard. So whatever kind of sex we're having, and with however many people, it's essential that we have enthusiastic consent from everyone at all times. It's really that simple. There's no need to overflavor the milkshake on this. Sex is supposed to be fun for everyone. Pleasurable, safe. And remember, consent is a conversation. So share this video to keep the conversation going. And going. And going. Would you like anything else? Oh no, thank you, I'm fine. <laughs>